evening from here, my zealous. Am I on, yeah. coming out clear? Yes, you are. Go ahead. Yeah, thank you very much. Good evening, IPOB family members around the world, Pierre France, friends of Pierre France, lovers of freedom, including our enemies. I welcome you all this evening, today, the 30th of July 2021, and being a Friday. I welcome you to this live broadcast anchored by Maze Alozie. My name is Nenaya Anya. I am from Ihechiowa in Umwaya province in Biafra land. And by the special grace of Chuku Okika Biyama, I am the head of finance of indigenous people of Biafra worldwide. We all know what is going on. We all know that our leader, the one anointed by Chuku Okika Biyama, is with the DSS. Extraordinary redemption. And we are not going to allow it. We are not going to take it. It's high time we all work hard to make sure that our leader is out from there. They must release him unconditionally in good health. We are not going to take anything less than that. We know that most of us are down because of this situation. On the 26th of July, we expected to see our leader that will be in court, but they didn't produce him. A lot of us were down, some were crying, some even called me. I was crying bitterly. I tried to console him. I said, don't worry, we all must be strong. Many were sick. Many people, their blood pressure went high. Many reacted in different ways because we love our leader and we were so disappointed. At least we wanted to see him. That did not happen. On the 29th again, our lawyers were supposed to see our leader. They refused them access to see him. That's another violation by the Nigerian government. I want to encourage all of us to be strong. We should dust ourselves up, sit up, and work hard to make sure that our leader is out. I know that's what he expects from us all. And we cannot afford to disappoint. Let us do what we are supposed to do while our lawyers, both the ones in Nigeria and the ones in across the country, or the ones outside Nigeria, international. Many people are now so keen in this case. Why they are doing their own, please, let us IPOB family members or all our well-wishers to play our own role as well. This will we do by taking our case, evangelizing, telling people what is going on. Tell them our plight. Tell them where our leader is, that we want him out. This we need to do by telling our friends, including our enemies, our neighbors, your counselors, your MPs, your friends in school, in the university, when you go to gym or you go shopping, by putting on Biafran t-shirts and talking about us, people will start asking questions. Also tweeting. Because when we see any tweeting there, that explains this extraordinary redemption, then we follow it. When one to two thousand people retweet, it will go a long way. And people will start asking questions. It's very important. These are the ways we can bring our plight to the world. Newspapers, 
if you, are, you go to your local newspapers or radio, try to give some interviews, these are the ways we can do it so that people will know. Because a lot of people outside are taking interest in this, our case, because our leader, what he's going through is unacceptable. His human rights have been violated. The torture mentally and physically, we cannot accept that. And that's why we all have to work very, very hard. Do not give up because some people might come to discourage you. Do not give up because that's exactly what they want. Sometimes I ask myself if some people actually know what we are in because what we are doing is spiritual. And the moment they go astray, you see they start yabbing. That's what is causing some of them. They have tried so many ways. I know every day there are some group of people that are, have, been, have turned to their nightmare. So every time they write about me, writing, go on video, go on Facebook, they will write, they will post, they will do this and this. Their aim is just one thing, thinking that they can discourage me, thinking that I will back up. No, I'm not the type that will back up. Therefore, I encourage everybody not to back up because what they are doing, I did them nothing. They know they are telling lies, but you know what they think they can do is to maybe they think they can discourage me, and then I will say no, I cannot. These are people that join the struggle 2019 and 2020. I have been in this struggle since 2012. 2012 to 2020, calculate how many years it is. Our leader set up the finance department in 2014. And I have been the head of finance since that time with my group. And our leader added me in directorate of state. I've been in directorate of state since 2012. So you think I will leave all those hard work that I've done, all those things that I've been working hard for my people, serving my people. You think I will throw it away just because of one trash that somebody is writing? No, I cannot do that. I am here to restore Biafra. And I will be with our leader. I will support our leader 1,000%. Nothing is going to move me. So if they don't know, I am repeating it again today. Nothing will make me to step back. I will be in this. But the question is, are they, can they be in this struggle no matter how long it takes? That is a question for them to answer. So I don't spend my time dumping myself in debt. No, I don't do that. So they should carry on. Because the more they're talking about me, the more Chuko Kikabiyama is increasing the angels that will guide me and direct me in the right way that I will go. So let them continue. Now, I want to make it clear that there is nothing like only in this account. If anybody comes to you and tell you that this account is only in this account, our leader's account, then that person is a foster because there is nothing like only in this account. I want you all to bear that in mind. Number two, I want to commend everybody, those of us that have been paying their monthly donations, the compulsory levies. I have paid my own compulsory levies. I have been paying monthly donations since 2012 to date. I have my receipt. Then we were paying to United Kingdom. I was paying with my visa card. Can those people that are yapping, can they produce their evidence of payment that they've been paying for the monthly dues? Can they show that they have paid for all the levies? I have paid all the levies, including my ESM. Not once, but twice. Can they? No. So why should I waste my time with such people? It's a waste of time. I need my precious time to work for Biafra, to serve my people. That's what I need my time for, not to waste this on people that are irrelevant. Now, I want to commend all those that have been paying their dues, their monthly donations, may Chukwu and Kika Adeyama continue to bless every one of us because it's through our contributions that we are able to do this, including those that are paying 
for the ESN continue the good work. The finance department will make sure that every bills are paid, that our people back home will be taken care of, those that need our attention will be taken care of, those that need medical treatment or legal payments, everything, including our ESN, the finance department will make sure that we do that because that is the work our leader gave to us. Our leader has never come about our work. He has always said we should keep up the good work. So why should I bother what somebody else is saying? No. So those of you, whether you are in the United States of America, Canada, South America, Europe, Asia, Middle East, Australia, your monthly contribution goes to Germany. It has not changed. If anybody is telling you that it has changed, that person is telling you lies. If there is any change, I will be the one to announce it. Number two, ESN. Our ESN, those of us in Africa, you know where you pay your ESN to Africa. And those of us in Europe, we pay it to Europe. Our, our ESN in Europe does not go to America. That is the way our leader made it. And it has not changed. If there is any change, I will be the one to inform you about that. For Europe, I am talking about. Now, listen to me attentively. If anybody opens an account, our leader has said it severally on air. If anybody opens an account and our sister Nenaya is not in that account, our leader say he can never trust such an account. I didn't say it. Our leader said it. And he has said it several times on air. If anybody opens an account and our sister Nenaya is not in that account to see what is going in that account, that he will not trust that account. That is what our leader said. So be careful and make sure that where you put your money is the right place. Very, very important. And I also want to commend all those that are working very hard in whichever way you are doing, keep up the good work because that's what our leader expects from us. It's not going to be easy. Nobody says it's going to be easy. Freedom it's never easy to get. But are we going to restore Biafra? Yes. Are we going to work hard to make sure that our leader comes up? Yes. Because that is what we must do. It's no, there's no debate about it. Our leader must come up. It's not left for us to work hard and spend our time to work hard and plan and know what to do and not spending our time on Facebook and writing irrelevant things, telling lies about somebody whom you don't even know, somebody who joined the struggle since 2012, somebody who joined in 2019 and 2020, you don't even know the foundation of IPOB, things he can talk about Biafra. No, Biafra is a spirit. If you are on oath, go and read that oath again. It's very, very important. Do not say you were not told. Go and read the oath. If you are on oath and you took an oath with your real name, I don't mean your nickname or your fake name. If you took the oath with your real name and you want to destroy a fellow Biafran who is working and seriously, then you have yourself to blame. That's what it is in that oath. So make sure you read it. Do not allow yourself to be deceived. I will continue to work for my people, for Biafra. I will continue to give my service and dedication. This I have promised myself from the first day I entered this struggle. And nothing is going to stop. I say nothing is going to stop me. Nothing is going to stop me from giving our leader 1,000% support. Nobody, that will stop me. So they can go ahead and keep themselves busy while I am doing work to restore Biafra. That is the main thing, and that is why I'm in this. So it's either you are against us, 
If you are with us, then do the right. Once again, there is no account in this account. Thank you very much. I hope I've made myself clear. Mazia Lozim, I don't know if you have any question for me. No. Yeah, we're good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ndeo, Mazi. Ndeo. Ndeo. I'll log off from Germany. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.